Hello everybody! Welcome back to Let's Play Medieval 2 Total War The English Campaign! Last time we left off! Uh, whew, it's been a week ago. I've forgotten! Uh, well, yes, I remember taking Northern Italy by storm. Um, driving the Hungarians out. We're about to take their last settlement in Florence, but we are delaying the attack because they have a plague, so I will starve them out happily. Let them eat their own plaguey food. Plaguey food? Is there such a thing as plaguey food? Rotten food? Let them starve to death and die a horrible, painful, slow, plaguey death. That's what you get for rebelling and against English rule, idiots. Anyway, enough of my malice. Uh, yes, and um, the Holy Romans decided to take their troops out of Stauffen there and attack Nuremberg, so hmm, we may have more to contend with. But hey, I don't fear, because I'm going to raise an army from Metz and Bern. I'm going to take Stauffen, I'm going to take back Nuremberg if we do end up losing it, and the Holy Romans will rule the day that they ever cross swords with the English, as everybody else is finding out. A bit of scouting has found uh, a further set settlement of Hungarian origin, ownership, Budapest. Is it Budapest a capital of Hungary? I think it might be. Uh, up there, uh, they've obviously got the grab at the moment, but I have put a fort there, hopefully to block any further advancements on land into our Italian frontier, hopefully giving us a chance to rebuild here. Um, and uh, I've just gone down here and noticed that Ragusa on this little strip is actually Byzantine lands, so I don't have to quite fear uh, any anything from this side. So that is as much as we've got. Hungarian front, Holy Roman front, and Hungarians are choo 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 ever closer to uh, besieging Toulouse on the Crusade. Portuguese have lost their king, apparently, which is why they've had to pull out the crusade. The Spanish don't want to know because they've only got a pitiful excuse for an army. The Moors, their jihad is long finished and they're marching off somewhere totally in the opposite direction to my lands. And uh, that was as much as we have got. Don't have to worry about the, the Spanish and Portuguese right now. It is the Holy Romans and the godforsaken Hungarians that are my main concern. So everything has been done. I've done a little bit of housekeeping off the camera so that we can kick straight off to the action. And let's do it. Let's see what uh, befalls us next. Oh! Did I speak slightly too soon that the Spanish the don't side. dare to attack us? I always way. curse myself like that. Oh dear, it's what was my dumb luck. The Spanish don't dare attack us. Oh, then here come the Byzantines again. They've attacked Cagliari more times and I've got fingers on my hand. And every time they do it... The enemy lays siege to our people, sir. They accept a ceasefire. And here goes another merchant. Bought out. Off you go. Go on. Roll over. You bloody useless merchant. <sighs> You couldn't sell anything if you tried. Hungarians are coming over closer, probably to assist the Spanish, which is why the Spanish have decided to attack us. They see their allies coming ever closer, thinking, hmm, now we can attack. Now I'll, I'll grow a backbone now, just because I can see reinforcements in the distance. <laughs> hey! And which means that if the Hungarians help the Spanish to take Toulouse, it will be, t it will be the Spanish that claim it. A sneaky trick, I feel, Mr. Prince Saluador. Well, you're going to get a nasty surprise when I put you all in bloody... What do you call them? Graves? I really can't get my words out today. Building work? Yes, very good. Shallow graves! That's what I was looking for. Put you all in shallow graves! <laughs> Would have been far better if I got out of the first place. Uh, the balls are moving uh, further away, which is good. Further, further, further. My pitiful excuse for a merchant has had his assets seized. Couldn't sell candy to a child in a sweet shop, that prick. Right. Uh, are you still besieging me, Hung? Ah! I can repel this army, no problem. If they team up against Nuremberg, I have a problem. If they're stupid enough to spread their sources or resources thin, they're gonna have a little bit of a problem. 
But I'm thankful that the computer doesn't have a brain cell. Makes life a lot easier for me. Right, mines please in Prague. Magdeburg. I don't know what to do with Magdeburg. If I convert Magdeburg into a settlement, it will be... Um, public order will be a problem. I think Magdeburg is past the point now. Its the population is such that if I convert this into a, uh, into a um, city, public order will suffer. So I'm probably just going to best off keeping it as a citadel. Uh, which I've already... I've already... Oh, I've already upgraded it. Ah, okay. Well, I'll start with a tourney field. I'll start with the cheapest buildings for, for now. 19,000 to spend. Okie dokie. Oakily dokily. Inverness. Oh, you haven't got it much there, have you? Right. Put you a market in. Edinburgh. Nothing. Very good. And let's keep a quick eye on Nottingham. London. Khan. Angus Rons. Bordeaux. Paris. Reims. Do -do -do -do. Antwerp. Nope, that's done as well. A lot of my settlements are now expanded as far as they can go, which is which is nice. It means I don't have to uh, mess about. Oh, look at all the retraining required in this regional garrison. Okay, if you so desire, I will do it for you. Uh, okay, tavern will do. Right. So, that's all good. All well and good down here. I could do with Valencia back. I'm sick. Is this the Pope? I will defeat you honorably, my worthy foe. Ah! The Pope is in Valencia! Ah! So if I so desire to put an end to you, Popey, I just have to come with my army down here and take Valencia from you by storm. Hmm. Hmm. No point, really. There's no bloody point. We don't have enough cardinals to get an English Pope, and the Crusade doesn't end if we kill the Pope, which we found out last time the hard way, so what's the damn point? We have him sat there, admiring the lovely sea view he's got. Nothing we can do about Toulouse. Um. And uh, this man here, Captain John. I'm going to temporarily pause for a second, stand by. Okay, I'm back again there. Just had to sort something out. Okay, uh, okay. Let's keep on with the building work. Docklands, good for trade. Yes, that's nice. I like trade. Oh, we're 10,000 in the red. That's a bit much. Docklands, put on hold for now. That's far too much in the red. Right, Bologna. Oh, God. Uh, do I have a, I have a spy in here. And the public order still is very, very low. Is it unrest? Yes. Unrest. Okay, I'm back. Uh. <laughs> oh, the motivation drains from me when this happens. I've been home for about an hour. No, maybe longer. Not a single peep. I start to record my LPs and then I get really nagged. It's Sod's Law. That's that, that person they call Sod. Your law is a pain in the ass. Ready, sire. Right. Ships ready. Where's the diplomat that can speak with the Hungarians? Uh, the Hungarians? The, the Byzantines. I want a ceasefire again. They, every time they attack me, I offer a ceasefire. They come to me with a ceasefire and everything is fine. Yes, my lord. Speak with him. Approaching their dignity. We suspect you will waste our time. Oh, and now they change their tune. Now they change their tune. Very demanding now is a ceasefire. How could you ask this of us? Diplomacy failed us this day. Oh, good God. Diplomacy failed us this day. It did indeed. What a bitter blow. Ah, just extra people to we kill. We will not surrender these waters easily. Admiring the enemy. You want us gone? Then do so. We will not surrender these waters easily. I wouldn't expect you to. And I don't want you to. I want to sink your ships now. I want to really give you a, a crushing blow for daring to do this to me. I just mean, I just cannot believe it. Why don't you kill somebody? Sir. Yeah, kill kill one of their... Do something to their... Uh, do something. Tear down their chapel. No. Don't do that. Don't touch holy buildings. It's never worked out well for us. 
Okay. <laughs> With a money situation, there's nothing more to build, which means it's down to advancements in the campaign. Now, funnily enough, Captain John, en route Ordered. to Rome, all of a sudden has had a change of heart and he's going to divert his attention to the Milanese capital. Let's just say a messenger intercepted him before he hit Rome and for some reason he is on his merry way past Rome. To there. By your command. Yes. We can go no further today, sire. Why don't you just stay there, Captain John? You don't want to take Rome just yet, do you? No, you don't. Right, okay. Uh, Florence, you still have a plague? A plague in Florence! A plague has finished. The plague is gone. The plague is now vanquished. As the Hungarians will be once I crush down their pitiful excuse of a settlement. Shall I starve them out for another six turns? I don't think so. I'm eager to take that... Hail my king! Right now! By your will, sire, we shall engage. We don't have any ballistas, so we're going to have to rely on siege towers, which is a royal pain. Royal pain in the old behind. Besieging army at your command, sire. If this is three to one or greater, I will be auto-resolving. If not, I'm going to have to fight, and it's going to be a tough one. As you command, my liege. It's two to one. Okay. And it's Prince Bulsku. Bulksu? Look at a strange name, man. Tosting Longchamp! Well, I did say two to, three to one or better. This is only two to one, so we're going to have to fight. I say... What's that army makeup? Is it good enough for a siege? Do we have enough foot soldiers? Let's try it out, Muster shall we? Muster your courage, men! We march into battle! Indeed we do. Let the boy win his spurs. Edward III, King of England, Battle of Crissy. Crissy? 1345. Battle of Creasy. I don't know. Some strange place in a faraway land. What have you got to say, Captain? Or is it. No, it's Tostig. Sorry, I do apologise. <laughs> in war. There's nothing so becomes a man as bravery before your enemies. A man can be afraid and still be brave. And any man who faces battle without concern is a moonstruck fool. To be brave is to go forward anyway, no matter how afeared. That is why I go forward, in the company of so many other brave men. Our Hungarian foes would do well to run back to the stables where they were birthed. We will shortly harness them, geld them, and break them to our purpose. <laughs> our heavy troops should see good service, for I see that the enemy have no troops with firelocks or the like. And so to battle. For my part, I will not die in the company of anyone other than a good Englishman. And I would not die other than with friends and comrades in arms. But this talk of death is premature. Let us say rather that I would not have victory with anyone other than comrades in arms. You men! You Englishmen! <laughs> oh God, it brings a tear to my eye! Thank you, uh, Henry. Tostig. Henry? I called you Henry because you had the same portrait as Henry did. <laughs> but you're Tostig, I know that. <laughs> Join me in the next part when the battle shall commence. Can we oust Hungary out of Italy for good?